What's up, Kern County? It's Ryan Nelson, and you are watching Kern Living. On today's episode, we're with our friend Deanna from Omni Family Health. Deanna, how are you? I'm great. Thanks so much for having me on again. Well, of course, of course. And today we're talking about hypertension. That's right. So what exactly is hypertension? So hypertension is also known as high blood pressure, and it's when the blood pressure or the force of blood going through your arteries is consistently too high. So if you think of your heart as a big mechanical pump, it's delivering blood throughout the system through a various set of pipes or blood vessels. And when the heart has to pump blood through vessels that are narrowing or getting stiff, then your pressure gets higher. So with time, you know, if it becomes too high, then you can start to have serious or even life-threatening problems. So what would you say are the stages to hypertension? Sure, so there's various categories or stages of blood pressure and they basically refer to how high your pressure is. So you start with normal blood pressure and then you can become pre-hypertensive where your pressure is just a little high. We kind of give you a pass, but we want to see you and keep an eye on it. Stage one is when your pressure is between 140 and 160 and stage two is anything over 160. Now, while pressure does tend to get worse with time, you can jump straight into one of those higher, more dangerous categories and you stay still may not have any symptoms at all. So what would you say are some of the symptoms of hypertension? Sure, this is where it gets a little dangerous, a little scary, and also why I love to educate people about blood pressure, because blood pressure is known as a silent killer. You may have really high blood pressure and have no symptoms at all, which is really scary. And that's why blood pressure is usually found during a routine screening at your doctor's office. People with really high blood pressure or higher than normal uh, for a long time, they may start to have some symptoms like headache, dizziness, blurred vision, even anxiety and nausea. But left untreated, that really high blood pressure can lead to a stroke and even heart attack. So how can we prevent hypertension? Sure, so there are things that you can't change like our age or our family history, but there are things that we can modify to reduce our risk. So maintaining a healthy weight, if you're overweight, losing weight, not smoking, uh, not being sedentary, all of those things will significantly reduce your risk of developing high blood pressure. So if you have hypertension, what is the best way to manage it? Yeah, now those lifestyle modifications are vital in uh, reducing your risk for blood pressure. But if your blood pressure is still high when you're doing all the right things, then your doctor is gonna prescribe some blood pressure medicine for you. Oftentimes, two or more blood pressure medicines are needed to adequately control your blood pressure. So it is so important that you come back and see your doctor regularly. They'll probably wanna see you pretty routinely um, until that pressure is brought down to a safe level. And just as a reminder, a lot of times you may have no symptoms at all. So it's so important that we see you once or twice a year so we can just do a screening and see if it's high or not. So if somebody that's watching is interested in knowing what their hypertension level is or they have it and they need help managing it, how can they get in contact with you all? Yeah, so we want them to come in, see us. You know, we'll book them an appointment for a physical. We would love to check their blood pressure and screen them for everything that they need to make sure that they're healthy. So give us a call at Omni Family Health or visit us online and we'll get them an appointment. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for all of this wonderful information on hypertension. And you can also follow us on all social media platforms at Current Living. That's our Instagram and our Facebook and myself at Ryan Nelson 23. I have some more questions for Deanna, so I'm going to ask her and I'll see you all next time.